There we go. So this this painting is a forecasting painting in that it forecasts the style that was to happen the following year. Now this is Jenny, and Jenny was our assistant for a couple of years. And when she first arrived, uh, I did this painting from memory. So that's why it has a more classical look to it than if I would have had her sit for me. Now as I was casting light across her face, I felt that this cheek here would actually be dimmer than this, this light. So whether that's true or not, I don't know, but I just felt that. So I came up with this idea for that, that thought, that, this color. And that color turned into its own light source the following year. So uh, come on down to this painting down here, and I'll show you 2006. This is uh, 2006, that was 2005. You can see a radical change in style. Uh, but both, both uh, paintings are very matte in uh, surface. Now what I do is, is cast a bluish light over the, the form, uh, giving an idea of, of light in a daylit room. Uh, and then once I'd achieved the form that I wanted, I conceptualize how the light came across the form. And so that light that was on her cheek now has become kind of like a firelight. See, and it's just cadmium orange, but it, it, uh, it's now two light sources in a painting. And that usually isn't seen. Uh, I think this is something that comes more often in photography. But uh, the With two... Special lighting. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, special lighting, uh, usually in photography. I call it uh, key lighting, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'd be key light and backlight or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, key light is the backlight, yeah. Oh, key light. Well, anyway, uh, that allowed me to start to reverse light so that I can light my own uh, landscapes now. So, see, that was a step. Uh, here, let's see. Here's here's a here's a uh, actually a morning painting, and uh, I reversed the light, so the scene was actually lit backlit like this. So the trunk was very dark, but having cast my own light before, uh, I could imagine that trunk in in daylight. Uh, maybe even late afternoon light coming and hitting it directly on and uh, just switching entirely the, the uh, direction of the light. So that's, that's how I could use that idea for landscape, even though it began with the figure. Wow. It gives it a very uh, unique uh, style. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, thanks. It's like, uh, thanks. Never seen it. it um, can't put a word on it now. Well, you know, I kind of see it uh, as emotional. You know, <clears throat> you know like uh, the light that we see in regular uh, vision mm -hmm. is a uh, straightforward objective. And then this light, being imaginary light, becomes very emotional, dreamlike. Have you um, done any studying of the, the pineal gland? that we have in our, our minds. I haven't, no. Um, it's, it's an inner eye that is actually organic. It's real. It's not just something like the third eye we talk about here is something ethereal, but it's an actual pineal gland uh, is where we look inside the universe. Huh? And uh, we're, we're actually much as big on the inside as we are with everything outside of us. So you've tapped into... <laughs> the pineal gland, and all the um, the rods and cones of the pineal gland look inward rather than outward. Wow! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow! Yeah. Uh, I'll, so I'll, I'll take that one. I think that's pretty interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Do some uh, googling on that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's very interesting. Well, I could be here all day, but I've got to get uh, back. Uh, so I'm, this is Ken Sheets signing off from the Robin John Anderson. Uh, Gallery's here with his beautiful wife Mar Margo, who's disappeared on us. So.